Hello, 1913 here, and today I have a video on lens hoods, specifically the Tulip, aka Petal Hood, and a rubber one. So let's get started. So in order to find the right size hood for your lens, look inside your lens cap. There should be a number. Mine is 67 for my 18 to 135 lens. If you can't find a number there inside your cap, look on your lens and again there should be a number. Again, mine is 67. So a lens hood pretty much blocks out any unwanted light. It also acts as a form of protection for your lens. So the first hood I have is this tulip one. This one just snaps onto your lens. This is also reversible, but if you're not going to use the hood, just take it off. It just kind of looks weird to have it reversed. And you can also keep your lens cap on while taking this hood off, which is a big plus. So here's a test with this hood. Obviously, as you can see, there's no vignetting, which is why this is my favorite of the two hoods. Next up is this rubber hood by Bauer. This one screws onto your lens, but you can't have your cap on while removing it. Now this hood has major vignetting unless you start zooming in. Now the reason for that is because my lens is a wide angle lens, so these two do not play well together. <laughs> So the plastic tulip lens costs $3 on Amazon, and the rubber one is by Bauer, and that costs $7.99 at Best Buy. Um, I definitely think the plastic one is a better option. I also didn't want to spend $20 to $30 on a Canon brand lens hood, just because I think the no-name um, $3 ones work just as well, but that's just my opinion. So thank you so much for watching. If you thought this video was nifty, please give it a thumbs up.